where I was lying, the Holy Ghost made me to see all the challenges I have faced in my Christian work with God. He caused me to see revelations that I've seen. The plan of the enemy against my life and destiny, against my family, that God himself helped me out. When it caused me to pass through, he opened my eyes and, I, and then I asked myself, but how, how come we are still here? Then the Holy Ghost punctured the scripture. Hebrew chapter 1 verse 3. The Holy Ghost punctured the scripture. And my spirit man. He said he uphold all things. By the power of his word. Look at it. First, the spirit of God. Every revelation that I've seen. Against the attack of the enemy in the vision. That the devil tried to bring it into reality. And God gave me victory. I now ask within myself. I say, but how come we are still here standing? Then the spirit of God punctured the scripture. He said he upholded all things by the word of his power. I jack up from where I was lying. Saturday, this Saturday, early hours, then I pick my Bible. I look at it again. It said, who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power when he had by himself purged our sins sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. The word uphold, what does it mean? To uphold is to sustain. To uphold is to maintain. To uphold is to defend. To uphold is to aid. To uphold So everything is wrapped around the word of God. If you don't know, I wonder people waste their time pursuing, going to places that they can't find help. What does it mean to uphold? It means to sustain. What is it saying? That every family, he said for marriages to stand, those marriages must be sustained by the word of God. For relationship to stand, it must be sustained by the word of God. For businesses to stand, they must be sustained by the word of God. And that is why I say, he said, who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person, and upholding all things by the power, the word of his power. That means that is to say, I am a teacher, so you brought me to come and teach. Which means that everything that must stand, it takes the word of God. God's word contains the power of the Most High. When I had that word, the revelation that I received, I was energized. I was revived. And upholding all things by the word of his power. What does it mean? It means to sustain. That is what the Bible says. All receive as you are. Every one of us, Christians, believers, Receive sustenance from the word of God. That is why the Bible says, hold fast unto him. It said you should hold fast unto him. Our Lord Jesus. Mm. 
What does it mean to maintain? So, when you hold fast unto Christ, the head, it means that nourishment comes from the head to your marriage. It comes from the head to your family. It comes from the head to your children. It comes from the head to your businesses. It's not by power. What does it mean to maintain? To maintain is the condition to which things continue to move. Marriages continue to move. Businesses continue to move. Despite the attack of hell. Despite the attack of hell. That is what it means. So Christianity is not the absence of demons. It's not the absence of witches. It's not the absence of wicked men and wicked women. Let them be scattered everywhere. But who control things? Who uphold things? This church is standing by grace. It is upholding by the word of his power. It's not by any other thing. No matter the attack of hell, nothing moves this altar. No matter the attack of hell, nothing shakes the foundation of this church. Why? Because it is upholding by the hand of divinity. I don't lie around you. I need two people. Very good. It's okay. I want somebody else to hold it on that side. Let me teach you the Bible. Look at it. You know what is tug of war? So you are doing it now. This is what it means to wrestle. When you look at the Hebrew of it, when the Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood, what is it saying? Take hold of your destiny. Take hold of your marriage. Take hold of your relationship. Okay, it's okay. The lady no agree. He no agree. I love you, sis. Go and sit down. That is it. In no Greek give. You know what the Bible says? He teaches our hands to war. That's what the Bible says. It says what? He teaches our hands to war. He teaches our hands to war. So to wrestle is not to cry about demons. Talk about demons. Magnify Satan. Magnify Lucifer. It's to take hold of your destiny and pull it as the devil is pulling it, you are pulling it. You are saying that I can't let go of my destiny. That is what it means to wrestle. Because you see, many people that end in joints, they became frustrated because their hands were not strong enough to hold. I saw a belt, a flying belt. I watched the documentary. That bird, there are many. And the females are more than the, the men. Anytime that bird leaves its nest and goes to find food, another female of it will come and take over the house. You know? When it takes over the house, when that one comes, he say, No, you must take hold of your destiny. If you know how your ministry, this church, it's not, it's not mouth. Oh. It's not mouth. So when things begin to happen, you know that it's time to stand up. Tax that come against a ministry to close down the ministry. But you see, you can't close the church of Jesus Christ. Why? They say, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail. I will build my church. And this altar that is here, no mama spirit, no mama water spirit, no dibia. If you like, go to India. It cannot close down. As a matter of fact, who fight the church is an enemy of God. It becomes an enemy of God. Hallelujah. To sustain to maintain, to defend. God himself is the one that defends you against anything that wants to resist you. Against anything that wants to stop you. 
a means aid. When a means to, let's see, to give support. When God is giving you support, every weight that you should carry, he's the one that carries it. That's why I say, cast your cares upon the Lord. He careth for you. When God gives you support, he carries your weight. Then they say aid. That is help. We have seen. When God wants to help you, look at the men that God help. The Bible said God help King Uza until he was strong. Marvelously, he received help from God and he was strong. People like King David receive help from God. What am I telling you this? You cannot maintain a home without God. What does it mean to establish? To uphold means to establish. Do you know what it means to establish? To establish there means that God began to give you acceptance and recognition. If you understand what I'm teaching, you will be happy. If you understand. And when I'm teaching, make sure you are listening to what I'm teaching. He gives you acceptance and recognition. That is what it means to be established. You are not in marriage because you marry. You. Your marriage cannot last because you marry. Your marriage can never last because you marry. If you like, let, me, let it be the Catholic Archbishop, Catholic Catechist that join you in marriage. It cannot last because a Catholic Catechist join you. It will last because it's built on the solid rock of Jesus. It will last because it is established by the Lord. When you enter the realm of making money, you don't live in millions because you, are, you know how to do business. God must establish you. When God take you up, you still pray for him to establish you. To establish, to establish a business. To establish a business means that you have received acceptance and recognition that comes from heaven. You know why I'm here? Because I have received acceptance from God. It will be a foolish thing to keep God aside. And that is the undoing of many ladies and many women and many men, both young. They think that they can sustain marriage. They can get into marriage by their power. They can sustain a marriage by their power. You cannot. You need God. In my place where I am from Benway, proudly a thief daughter. Manya, I am I'm telling you that when we wake up, I used to have long nests. My nests naturally are long. When we wake up, wake up maybe around 10, then we say, go and buy rice and bones where they are selling. The younger ones will go and get it and bring for us. If we want to wash clothes, we'll call them. Give them 15 naira, they will wash the clothes. If I had entered the marriage with that lifestyle, it will crash. If I enter the marriage with that lifestyle, it will crash. So when God wanted to help my life and to help my future, he carried me. Why? Because he brought this man that I marry. The man helped my life. Let me tell you, we started in the church not as any, we were not I anybody. It is this my husband that taught me in evangelism. Money Christ. He will stay on one side of the street. I stay on one side with those that were with us. Then we begin to we preach the gospel. I preach in buses. I preach in house quarters in Kaduna. I preach. Early morning Christ. That time I didn't have the balanced knowledge of the Old and New Testament. So I preach, repent or you perish. 
I will be shouting, preaching it. But anywhere I was still doing something. Yes, I thought, I thought, I ain't bad. Yes, My husband said, oh, Joro no day. Yes, Do you know that I was poor people in the church. Ladies were mocking me when I went to live with my father in the Lord. There are people that discourage others about serving God. When you have sisters or guys in the church who are serving God, others are saying they are using them. Others are laughing at them. Now only you, now I service. Who told you that the person is serving is service? Are you God? I live in that house. It was in that house that my destiny became better. Who are you staying with? And where you are staying, what are you doing? Move your life from dreaming alone. It can't help you. If you want to go far, carry the word of God. Go to verse 1 of that Hebrew. Verse 1 to 3. And let's see it. God, who at sundry times and in diverse manners, spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophet. Go ahead. Had in this last day spoken unto us by his son, whom he had appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the words. Who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person, and upholding all things. If you want to go far, carry the word of God. Drop dreams. When Satan wants to manipulate you, you see, use his dreams. But he cannot manipulate the word of God. Are you hearing me? I was in my father in the Lord's house sitting down with other sisters in the church that came to visit me and my father in the Lord's house. And then I was planning to go to KD. At this time, I was serving in the church. I was serving in the church. Staying in my father in the Lord's house. Washing plates and dishes. I pity people and girls of nowadays. They can sweep. They can clean. And yet they want a destiny. You cannot get a man, a reasonable of God's son, that he prepared for destiny with a car of hands. <laughs> By tomorrow, I'll be teaching on Ezekenedo. <laughs> By tomorrow, I'll be teaching on what? Ezekenedo. I was in my father in the lost house. Little did I know that my destiny was being prepared to marry the man I marry because of the destiny that God had designed for him. He needed to train me in my father in the lost house. My father and mother in the lost house. Destiny happened. And then I landed in my father and mother in the lost house. To live with them. In the early days of my Christianity. I repented in 1997. In the early days of my Christianity. The woman had given birth to a baby. Tossing was three months when I entered Reverend Doctor's house. You know when I used to wake up? I wake up 3 a.m. Why? Because I will need to read my Bible. After repentance, I read the Bible, the complete Bible, under three months. I finished Genesis to Revelation. I will read Bible so that I know what is inside. Give them. What will you give the people? If you are called to be an ambassador's wife, what will you be doing in the house? There are things you must learn. Do you know I learned 
how to bake cake. And my father and mother in the lost house. I learned catering services in that house. He had not, if I had not gone to that house, I wouldn't know those things. I learned how to cook vegetable soup. Different kinds of soup in that house. When my husband answered the call and he wanted to go into ministry, one of the things that helped our church, those people, the young men that came, they were getting married. I was cooking for them free. I became the caterer. Am I not contributing to my husband's ministry? Am I not contributing to my husband's ministry? I will bake the cake. I didn't have gas. I will use charcoal to bake those cakes. I do decoration, wedding decoration with joy. We walk round the clock. Wedding is happening. I'm cooking. Many of the ladies that came to church didn't know how to cook. I began to teach them. And in that house, I was there when God spoke to me. My husband entered the house. And when my husband came, I, I wanted to go to Kaduna because there are times when you are serving as if God has forsaken you. Demons have abandoned you. One man is saying, go back to where you came from. Another man is saying, press forward. So I decided to go to my uncle's place in KD. I did not have transport. Brother, my husband to be. We, did, we are not in relationship. He came to help me. He, we were partners. He was the one that raised me. In preaching the gospel on the street. Preaching in buses. He's my mentor. He's my teacher. That is my husband. Any woman that claimed to be the head over the husband is not. It's a mami wata. That is mami wata. That's mami wata. Tomorrow I will be teaching on headship. Exact Kenedo. Look at it. As the man entered, coming towards my direction, I heard the Lord, the Holy Ghost said to me, this is your husband. I wasn't dreaming. In the place of service, God has opened my ears, my spiritual ears. He said, this is your husband. The plate I was holding fell down. I did not say a word to anybody. But that day I went to KD. And when I met my father in the Lord, I have a father in the Lord in KD, little Paul Magaji. Their ministry was Love Divine Ministry. I went there, I met him, I was confused. Why was I confused? My husband was my mentor, my teacher, teaching me in the Bible. How come God will say it's my husband? So the thing confused me. And because my husband is a, is a battle ass, you know, boss. God's own battle ass. We call him the battle ass. God's battle ass. He has a ministerial network. Battle ass mission. Battle ass ministers. So, he is the one that was raising us in battle us. In the evening, we will wear a coat on every Wednesday. We wear a coat. If you see my coat, those coats I used to pick in Bendam Boutique. <laughs> I will sit down there. When they give us to preach, you need to see preaching. He will sit down and be watching us. I went to, so, I told him everything about my life. He knew everything about my life. That was the one that troubled me. He knew the baddest thing I've done in life. He knew everything. And now say, how can God say this is my husband? I became confused. I went to little Paul. May God guide you the right direction. Amen. When I told my pastor in Kedi, this is what I'm seeing. Oh. This is what I had God say. The man said to me, the wife I married was my prayer partner. <laughs> And they were praying for one other girl. When that one did not work, God said, this is not your wife. Where you know she sins. Now this one. But the vision became clearer. The world was becoming, the pictures becoming clearer. I came back. Now, God has spoken to me. He had not spoken to him.
God has spoken to me. He has not spoken to him. That was when the trauma started. Another sister was I, my husband, in the church. But one day, God will give you an edge over your enemies, your position. God said, go and be trained under Bishop Oyedeko. <laughs> it wasn't a dream. I had the word again. No, this one was a, a vision. In the vision of the night, somebody said I should go and be trained under Bishop Oyedeko. When I went, that Kaduna that I was running to, in the vision of the night that I, I dreamed and I saw myself in, in Wolfby, year 2000. One year, I was under that atmosphere. I didn't go for one month Bible school. One year. Full time. The Lord spoke to me. Go and be trained under Bishop Oyedekbo. I went there. I already knew that this man, God says your husband. But the guy never here and I know go meet him. Some people want to help God. Some ladies want to help. They want brother to see by force. Brother no see, leave him. Leave him. Then the first marriage. Man of God is like somebody that carried the fight word in his, in his heart. When you carry something, you don't beg for poop it. You don't open your mouth and be saying, I carry fire, they are not using us. Some people are in a place, they are saying, now only pastor, I'll go, is God not with us? It's not using us. People who carry something don't make such comments. Because when your time comes, did I come and call pastor to call me? If you have the message for the hour, God will make room for you. I'm telling you. So, that sister that was competing with me too came to work me. And I never see something. He came. Enrolled in work me. Not the Bible. We go read them. We we'll read the Bible. When I come to Abuja on the weekend, any weekend I come, I used to see her. When my husband sit down in the church, the girl goes sit down. I was walking with that word. I was walking with that word. One day in Kaduna, she will start coming to make friends with me. Your enemy should not make friends with you. It was in that house that I told that, that my God said to me, this man is my husband. He went and told my husband. Then she, I came on the weekend. She came to me. Sister, Meg. Brother Donna said I should tell you she to, to stop. That he, she's, he's not your husband. You should, yes. Yes. I'm telling you that when you look at me, I am word of God personified. So when the girl said that, I don't talk. The girl left. And of a truth, if I go to church, if my husband is coming here, if I'm coming, so I, I, we are not talking. For over one year, the word of the Lord tried me. One day, I was coming for vision. I didn't stop my service. That's when you will know the people that God, that are working with God. They know they stop, stop service. Nothing makes you to stop service. Brother, never see him. He no go sweep again. Then the Holy Ghost said, bend down and pick sand. I was going on vision. Around 12 midnight, I packed the sand. He said, blow in it. Whatever is hearing that is making him not to look at you. That night, I prayed that prayer on the road. I got to the church. My pastor, my senior pastor called me and said, what is it that you want God to do for you? I said, God, if he's the one that said that Donadoga is my husband, he should prove himself. By the next day, my husband called me. He said, let us go on evangelism. I came to tell you that the word of God is truth. 
we started relationship. Challenges began to come. I, in my family, people die prematurely, but it ended with me. Oh, me, I know they die. The devil start bringing those things out. How can you marry from that kind of family? The relationship started shaking again. That's why we say, who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power, he sustain all sustainers come from him. What is it? Colossians chapter 1 verse 15. Can you open it? Colossians chapter 1 verse 15. It says he's the, he's the image of the invisible God. Who is the image of the invisible God? The firstborn of every creature. Verse 16. It says, for by all things we are created by him. Invisible, visible and invisible. Whether there be thrones, whether there be dominion, whether principalities, whether powers, all things we are created by him and for him. Verse 17. Look at it. It says he's before all things. For by him all things consist. Verse 18. Look at the Bible. And he's the head of the body. If he's the head of the body, he's the head of the family. The church. Who is the beginning? The firstborn from the dead. That in all things he might have the preeminence. Verse 19. The Bible says it pleased the father. That all fullness dwell in him. What can you do without Christ? The word of God tried me. In shame. I experienced the shame that Abraham, those who God call and give the word, they must experience shame. So if you are not ready for shame, stay where you did. But the eternal weight of glory that awaits you cannot be compared with the shame. We wrote our first 10 years of marriage, Steps of Faith. All these things are inside. One day, he was preparing the communion. The curtain opened. Then he did not see pancake. He did not see lipstick. He didn't see big gnash. He did not see flat one. He did not see pointed nose. He see me with my rugged okay skirt. Walking on mission with him. Then brother got up. That's why I say, I am God's most loved daughter. Of all the eligible daughters, he no choose them. Never, little did I know. At this time, there were no cars. Because not be motor I marry. There was no house. There was no bed. My husband had one trouser and the one that I used to fall in love with. Now that one when go shape and come be like pencil. Now that one. I can't love that pencil trouser. Now if my husband demo that one, come cut on, uh, you know, this thing, wear shirt, pink shirt. If I just see him, I will just see the leg. I said, Don't know, Doga. I dare here, I dare here. But the guy came. That is why the dead they were wedding us in the church. They brought a dead child praying for that dead child in, in the prayer room. The child, Jacob. You cannot be joining these people. Fire brand. And nothing happened. The dead came back to life. What am I saying? You receive is according to your preparation. How prepared are you? That God will go and carry a destiny. Every man is created on purpose and for a purpose. Marriage is an office. It's an assignment. So when you are coming into the life of that person. It's to help that person. What do you have to offer? Somebody say come with love. 
and peace. <laughs> Where she herself does not have love and peace. The beginning of love is Christ. Oh. A Jesus in you. What is love? Love is kind. Love is not easily puffed up. Love is not easily angered. Love does not make decisions on her own. Love is kind. Even when love is helping you, it's not rude to you. When love is helping you, love will not yab you. Love is not rude. That is love. Love covers multitude of sin. That is why the Bible says the heart of the virtuous woman, husband, is secured in her. Is secured in her. The heart of the virtuous woman's husband. When he said the heart of her husband is secured in her. She becomes a cover. She becomes a protection. She's a cover. She's a protection around her husband. So when you are going into marriage, you are going it not for sex. You are going it not just to give birth. You have a work to do. Marriage is responsibility between two people. So you are going, you know your assignment. Your, the one of it is to protect your husband's heart. That is whatever is inside does not leak out. One of your... By tomorrow, I will be teaching. When I'm teaching on Ezra Kenedo, as God help me, we'll look at the hierarchy, the hierarchical arrangement of the Godhead. Then you understand headship of the man and the wife. Hmm? But I'm teaching. I will explain it. Let me use an animal to teach you, to answer you. The lion and the lioness. I'm answering you, creating images in you. Who hunt for prey? The lioness. He hunts for prey. That is food. He brings food. That's an animal. They have wisdom. The animals don't have the wisdom of God, but they live, they have instinct. We have both, uh, you know, the wisdom of God and instinct. And now look at it. The lioness hunt for prey and it brings the food. When he's hunting for prey with the little cubs, where is the king? The king can sleep for 10 hours in a day. When the king, lion king is sleeping, it's not that it's useless. Some people say it's laziness. No. It's conserving strength and energy. Why? Because much strength is required to take over territory. Much strength is required to take over territory. The lion fights territorial battles. His job is not to look for food. Give us Proverbs 31. And be moving very fast. His job is not to look for food. We change scripture. When the Bible said the man is the head, can I, can I have you here? On the head, what do you see? You see the ear. He receive, he see, he hear from God. You see vision. You see the mouth. You see the nose. Is it not what you are seeing on the head? This man is seeing what the woman cannot see. This man perceives what the woman cannot understand. This man is to speak and give direction. That is the responsibility of the head. Here, go sit down. Where is Proverbs 31? So, when the lioness and the little cub bring in the prey, that's when the lion king will get up from where he's lying and then he will go and feast on that prepared meal. God create all things, put wisdom both in his creation for us to see. The word of the king, the word of King Lemuel, the prophecy that his mother taught him. Be moving far. What my son and what the son of my womb and what the son of my vows. Give not thy strength unto women, nor the waste thy waste to that which destroyed kings. 
It is not for kings, so lemon, it is not for kings to drink wine, nor for princes to strong drink. Let they, lest they drink and forget the law and pervert the judgment, judgment of any of the afflicted. Give strong drink unto him that is ready to perish and wine unto those. Please go, be going. Go to verse 10. Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. They're not there inside Bia Palo. They're not there for joint. You're not going to find them for club. That's what somebody just they do. Back to my root. I'm going. If he's going back to his root, leave my they go back. You, they go front. Heavenly race. Who can find? Go ahead. The heart of her husband does safely trust in her. Is secured in her. So that he shall have no need of spoil. Can you see it? I know what talk. The heart. No. The heart of her husband does safely trust in her. So that he shall have no need of spoil. Which means that there are spoils that want to come your husband's way. He must trust your rib. He must trust the woman to save it. To safeguard it. It's not a soap. Go ahead. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. This is a virtuous woman. Go ahead. She seeketh wool and flax and walketh willingly with her hands. She is like the merchant ship. She bringeth her food from far. Make another here. I know right Bible. Go ahead. She rises also why it is yet night and giveth me to her household and a portion to her maidens. She considereth a field and buyeth it. These are women that buy lands. With, fruit, with the fruit of her hand, she planted a vineyard. She guided her loins with strength and strengthened her arm. Who? This virtuous woman. Walking, preparing food with her hand. Who would go eat that food? When the Bible says, he that cannot take care of his house is worse than an infidel. It means that he's worse than an unbeliever. A man, see, there is something that is more than clothes. There is something that is more than house. You should know that. There is something that is more than food. There are many men that can bring food to the house, but they are useless. They can bring food, but they are, they are useless. They are like Clint, they're drunk. Nonsense. They don't have head. There's something is wrong with them. Destiny is not about cars. It's not about mundane things. Destiny, now be the one where the man gives you the life of Christ. He's able to guide you in the way of the Lord. Are you hearing me? Yes, Let them argue their argument because they don't know. Religious people. It's worse than an infidel. Let me tell you. When I entered marriage, our bishop, our bishop press wife came to the church and said, was teaching and he said, he fed the husband for 12 years. When the husband answered the call. 12 years. The, man, the woman was walking and bringing food to the house. And he was an archbishop in the making. But at that time, there was no money. Yes? Twelve good years. Doing it. You know, at that time, many people that would say they are using her. But I'm telling you that Mama prays. The beautiful Mama prays. The, she's a bishop now. Twelve years. Do you know that Miss Funke, Mr. Dejumo? These are women that I, I look, I partner my life with. I know they partner with Kwe Kwe. That woman is doing different things that bring money to her. She's a virtuous woman. The virtuous woman prepares her food early. She walketh with her hand. Consider a feed and buy it. 
It's a foolish woman then when you see that you bring how much some of them they bring one and 100 million one million abuse. The whole world we hear. Can you imagine? Do you think the day I married my husband was he having and be not weak? Be not important. Be not weak in faith. Be not weak in his convictions. Be not weak in his persuasions. Be not weak in his trust. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not unto your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge the Lord. And what will happen? And be not weak in faith. He considered not his own body, now dead, when he was about a hundred years old. Neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb. Go ahead. He staggered not at the promises of God through unbelief. The problem of man is belief. We don't have witchcraft problem. It's believing the truth, which is the word of God. This man staggered not. The word staggered dear. It means that he didn't doubt. It's not talking about staggering and walking on the road. Sometimes you will miss, miss your step, isn't it? This is the battle of the mind. I wrote a book. Life transformation on the condition of assimilation and accommodation. He staggered not. He didn't see it and reason. As I see this man. You know, they look my side in another direction. They look, oh. No, you believe that word. Because God is able to. That's why he said, he sent you help. He carried the weight. He uphold you. He maintained what he said to you. He kept his promises. He said, are the promises of God. What God promised you is a promise. By saying, this is your wife. This is your husband. If things are not going the direction, you don't have business with the man. Okay, let me answer you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He just brought it. What happened to me? I know they use people teach. I they teach myself because I have, I'm a catalog of testimony. Look at it. When we started a relationship, we reconciled and we, we started going on a relationship. One day, my husband came and said that he's not marrying me again. We have gone for introduction, everything. He still came up and said he's not marrying me again. At that time, what was standing before me, it was the kind of family I, I come from. People die early. Pastors, even everybody, they were saying, if you want to marry, check the, the background, all those things. He stopped talking to me. Eh? I began to pray. Look at it. So my husband came to my father in the lost house and carried me and get up. She said, Faith! This time I don't change my name. Situation hit me, I changed the name to Faith. Make a join the land of Faith. I carried. He carried me to our father in the Lord. He was in the church office. We entered there. He didn't tell me what was in, on his mind. When we entered the church, the office, he said before my father in the Lord, he said, Daddy, me and this woman, we are not compatible. Me and Sister Faith, we are not compatible. So I want to tell you that we are not going to get married. My father in the Lord turned and said to me, Margaret, did you hear what Brother Donna said? What was my answer? I said, Daddy, I have no business with Donald. I have business with heaven. Go and sit down. A man and woman of faith know how to answer. And know how to respond to situation. You're not going to marry a man by force. You won't marry a woman by force. You go crash. Don't pick it. I don't need it. Hmm? It's already inside. Because now waiting God carry me past through. I was rejected. When I'm coming to the church, young pastor will be preaching me. If sheep no go, you no go leave, brother. Do you know what I experienced? God giving me that word. Once God gives you the word, it becomes something else. All hell will lose after you. A man and woman of the world must, hell must lose after you. When I'm coming to church, 
They will be preaching as I didn't stop church. I will be there hearing them. If sheep, that is called sheep. If the sheep no grigo, you no go leave, brother. I experience it. I did not do anything. Me, I did pray, and I know that time to run to men of God. They no help me. So what did I do? I, whenever situation, if God is the one who gave you that word, you go back to Him. That prayer where you say you don't know. When situation hit you, you go, no, I'm by force. One thing is for God to give you a word. Another thing is for you to contend, to bring it to pass. You must learn it to. Persistence. I went back to God. And I tell you. That the day we were wedding. When, before that. I went to, I was in Bible school. I went for night vigil. Bishop Ibioye was in Kaduna then. So I went for night vigil. In that night vigil, Bishop Ibioye got up and was teaching and he said, he opened Isaiah. He said, Isaiah 66 or so. He said, whereas thou hast been forsaken, no hated that no man went through, I will make you an eternal excellency, a joy of many generations. The word of the Lord came to me. I learned to hear God via his word. It's not magic. Oh God. Whereas thou hast been forsaken. Can you bring it as I six? Whereas thou vestating, whereas thou hast been forsaken. This is the guy God called the, said to the lady, it will be your wife. Or God said to the man, it will be your wife. He's looking at another man. He's not looking at that. He's rejecting you. He's not seeing you at all. This was the word. God gave me that word. Whereas thou hast been forsaken, nor hated, that no man went through. You know, there are people that are experts in spoiling people's image. That's why I say, whereas thou hast been forsaken, nor hated, that no man went through. Whoever wants to tarnish your image, whoever wants to speak against you, whatever is making the person not to see you, he said, whereas thou hast been forsaken, nor hated, that no man went through, I will make you in that same place an eternal excellency, a joy of many generations. I screamed, I got up, I said, this is my word. When I heard that word, by the next day, you know what happened to me? From a man that was rejecting me, he came to Kaduna. God, that was when God went and opened his eyes to see me on mission field with him. Then he moved and came to Kaduna. I was in that night vigil. God hid me. He didn't see me. He brought a book. The power of a praying woman. The power of a praying wife. With a short note inside. I have found you. And who did he give the note to? He gave it to that sister. My competition. To give to me. What do you want? That is honor. God send your enemy to you. The next morning, when I got to school, we were in the same class. The girl came to me and said, I should guess you. One boy already told me that Brother Donald came looking for you. He said his name is Donald. I said, The girl came and said, Guess who came to look for you? I said, it's Brother Donald. He said, can you imagine? He said, he told that same girl that I am his wife. God told him I am his wife. He didn't see me that night. He entered Moto and went to, from Kaduna, he went to Benue because God wanted to make me expensive. God wear me cloth. He went to Kaduna to, to, to Benue to look for me. He still did not find me. He came back. The day I came to Abuja, I carried myself from school. I came. I went to church and I saw him. And he said to me, God said, you are my wife. I said, I already know. What are you saying? You can't help God. Have I answered you? Any question? So what is it? You need to believe God's word. Don't stagger. Do you know how to stagger? It's in the mind that they stagger to doubt. When you begin to doubt, how, why do people doubt when things are not working the way according to God's plan, what God has revealed to you? But don't doubt. Believe. Hold on to it. Hold on to it. That's why I love that scripture. Eh? 
2 Timothy chapter 2. I love that scripture. It says, fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. What is eternal life? It's the ability to know God. Eternal life means knowledge. The knowledge of divinity. Hold on to No, sit, sit down, I'll answer you. There's what is called wisdom. Eh? What is wisdom? Knowing applications. Knowing operations. No matter if you don't have wisdom, you will spoil things. A spiritual man must learn wisdom. You understand? What in person never see? You never see people do prayer. It can't end for another thing. Yeah. Let me tell you something that I learned from my husband. I'm answering you. We started church. We are doing church. We do night vigil like today. We finish. Another lady, Congo, come. My husband, their office. Early in the ministry, he said, May pastor hold night vigil with them for church. Only my husband with her from 12 midnight. What did Donadoga do? He ran for his life. Oh. Joseph ran. He ran. When somebody is married, you have to be careful. Especially Nigerians. Where we see James Bond everywhere. He said, flee all appearances of evil. How do you become a mother? I wrote a book, The Pedagogic Mother. How to be a mother. You are not a mother by being a pastor's wife. Pastor's wife, now name. Whatever happens there, now you go make them happen. So, I decide. When you are a mother, you cover the nakedness of your children. You don't expose it. A lady, I met a lady, I was preaching to her. He said to me, no, they go to church again. She was sitting in a joint. He said, now in what pastor, why push one? If he tell a secret, he go go tell the husband, they will announce him on the pulpit. He's just here, then they preach him. When people come to her again, you have lost your confidence. There are things that are here. They are buried here. You can't hear them. When you go to a doctor to tell your doctor about what is happening to you, will they going to be announcing it? They keep secret. They keep people's profile. Pastor wife, their mouth is leaking like water. Cannot be a mother in Israel. You learn motherhood in Israel. Okay, now look at it. Praise the Lord. You must not build your life around to say it, that it must be said, God say something. The sins are different. God speaks to us through his word. That's what we see in Hebrew. So if you are here now, God, you are reading, God already says it's not good for a man to be alone. He made for him and helped me. Mm? Your own is to pray and trust God for it. You get it. People find wife different ways. Every, it's not everybody that married that God came and appeared to them and said, this is your wife. He said, he that finds a wife, find it a good thing. To find is to search. How do you look for it? There are qualities that a man see, look for in a wife. There are qualities a woman look for in a man. Every man, I said the man where they remove his brain. The knot have been removed. But he said, if you're looking for a help, one, they will not look for, for, for lipstick. You must have qualities that the man is looking for. A man of destiny is looking for. One lady came. He said, you enter relationship, you enter this one, it's scatter. You enter this one, it's scatter. They said that now from her village and the fighter. I asked her. 
your last relationship, last two relationships, what happened? They break. He said, the guy never married, and all of them never married, and they want control him. I said, Nadia, you the fame. <laughs> Was it a witch? I said, Nadia, you the fame. You know, if he control you for relationship, and for marriage, he will control you. Was it a demon? She was the problem of herself, and she's married. I talked to her. If a man can't tell you what to do when he's cutting you, now when he marry you, you don't sign in. My people say, when you want to catch rat, you don't they make noise. They sign where you don't see for relationship. You talk, they talk 20, they do anyhow. In relationship, that respect must start. Obedience must start. In relationship. You understand? So men are looking for, men are looking for. I wrote a book about not, you know, what men look for in a woman. They don't look, look for breasts because you get where the breasts, they change. Every man is created on purpose and for a purpose. And he's looking for somebody that will fit him. You are somebody's helper. If you don't prepare to become the helper, you know, get them. If they talk to boys anyhow, they do anyhow. They just, okay, that girl, he came and said, I don't die, not be here. If she wanted to marry my brother, she will learn to shut up her mouth, to behave well. Character, attitude, they disqualify people. Some of them, the house help, they go say, brother, don't marry this one, no get character. Attitude, bad attitude, behavior. So you wait on your time. And let me tell you again, I will just add it. When you come to church, don't come looking for a guy. Come looking for God. If na boy you come, you know go see him. If na girl you come, if you can't jam your type. Let me tell you, when I entered the church, I didn't see myself qualified to see a guy to marry. Now service will come to end. In fact, that time, the heavenly race will pursue. When we know say Jesus will come, na 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 na. That time, based on the knowledge we are exposed to. So when you come to church, you come to serve. It's in the place of service that God rewards you with a man or a wife as a gift. Your wife is a gift. Your husband is a gift. Just like righteousness is a gift, salvation is a gift. Now so, Ebi, are you getting it? Husband is a gift. That God rewards you with at the place of service. 